Another video from Fast Tech. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to disassemble this console down to the motherboard, down to the frame. And along the way, I'm gonna be showing you guys each component that fails and how to replace it. This video is brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is the toolkit we're gonna to be using to disassemble this PS4 today. Links in the description box. This is an automatic screwdriver that is fully rechargeable and allows you to open up all your devices, including your PlayStation, Xbox, Apple, MacBook, iPhone, and beyond. Let's get started. We're gonna have to remove this sticker at the back. This is or was the warranty sticker in the United States, but it is no longer due to an FTC ruling. And you can use a flathead or a knife. So we're gonna pull this sticker off like that. Well, this one didn't even get damaged, which is nice. Normally this would say void, but it didn't. Maybe I just got the magic touch. We're gonna need a T8H at this point. A regular T8 is not gonna work, so we're gonna get a T8H from our kit, which is gonna say T8H on it. And it has a hole in the T8, so it's not just a regular T8. We're gonna remove the T8H screw. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to remove and replace is the hard drive on this thing. We're gonna remove this L-shaped piece by pushing it. Then we're gonna need a Phillips screwdrivers. So we're gonna switch to our Phillips bit in our Fastech Pro Auto Kit. And we're gonna remove this Phillips screw. And once this screw is out, we're gonna pull and the hard drive is gonna come out. It's in its enclosure and we need to remove these Phillips screws to get the hard drive out. Once we have the Phillips screws removed, the hard drive is gonna be released from its enclosure. And this is a one terabyte hard drive. We sell all kinds of PS4 hard drives on our website, including one terabyte, two terabyte. We sell SSDs as well that are compatible with PS4. And you can use the coupon code YouTube when you decide to buy this hard drive from us. Next, I'm gonna show you how to remove the top cover from the PS4. So what you do is you stick your fingers in here where it says PS4, and then just lift up and then lift this whole thing off. At this point, we're gonna remove the bottom cover like that. Like so. Now I'm gonna remove the power supply from the other side. There's two T8 screws and three Phillips screws that hold it in. I'm gonna remove the Phillips screws first. And then we're gonna remove the two T8 bits. We're gonna lift up this piece here. One side screw is shorter than the other, so take a note of that when you're reassembling this thing. Now we're gonna flip it back over. Have to be removed to get the power supply out, so we're gonna do that. And FYI guys, if, if you're getting to the motherboard, you're gonna be removing all of these screws, which I am gonna be doing later on in the video, but right now I'm just showing you how to replace the power supply. We're gonna flip the console back around. And now, we should be able to lift the power supply out. Okay, the power supply is out. There's a cable in the front that we're gonna pull out. It should pull out easily. And that's the power supply. These are 120 and 220, so if you buy them from us, they will work in Europe and Asia as well and of course in America and Canada. Again, links in the description box. You can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Moving on. Next up is the power eject button at the front. That's the power button right there. First, we're gonna disconnect this antenna cable by lifting it up, and then we're gonna unroute it.
Now we're gonna remove the rest of these screws. These are all Phillips. This is one of those systems where our auto kit really comes in handy because it's got 10 million screws in here that you have to remove. If I had to do them each by hand, that would really suck. So I'm grateful for my auto kit. And again, links in the description box for this. And at this point, we're gonna remove the disk drive cables. This one pulls out. This one has a clip that we're gonna have to lift up like this and then pull it out. And these two also pull out without any clips. We're gonna remove this fan connector here. We're gonna wiggle and pull. Now we're gonna flip it back over. There's this screw here that have to be removed from here. Now we're gonna remove this panel here. Get this panel out of the way. Now we have access to the motherboard. We're gonna get this out, but before we do that, we have to remove this clamp here. It's being held in by two Phillips screws. Then we're gonna lift this piece out. We're gonna lift up the motherboard from the front slightly because there's still this cable connected. So we're gonna be gentle with it. Now we can get this cable out of the way. You can use a screwdriver or your fingers. Get that cable out, pull the motherboard out like that. And again, we sell these on the website, links in the description box if you need one. Matter of fact, that's the reason this system is being taken apart so one of our customers can get a motherboard. And because this is the only way to get motherboards or parts for these systems. Uh, that's how we have to do it. Shout out to Lewis Rossman and the Right to Repair movement. They've been making strides here for everyone in the business, including the people watching. So give him a follow on his channel. It's Lewis Rossman. I'm sure some of you already heard of him. He's a good dude and he's doing good things. So I have to give him a shout out. Now we're gonna remove the rest of these screws. These are all Phillips. Now the heatsink is free. And I removed this heatsink to show you guys how to fix the PS4 Pro is too hot error message. Sometimes it could be the fan. And if it's not spinning, that's an easy way to tell. But most of the times it's because this heatsink is clogged. And this is why I think my channel blew up in the beginning was because I showed people how to fix the PS4 is too hot error message properly. If there is dust here, you can blow it out with a compressed air can. And also I would recommend replacing this thermal paste on this and on the motherboard when you put this back together. If you are fixing the PS4 is too hot error message. And we sell Thermal Grizzly on our website, links in the description box. Now, let's get to the fan. There's two screws that hold it in. We're gonna pull out the fan, and that's the fan. It's a model KSB0912HD. If you need one of these, links in the description box. Next up, let's remove the disk drive. I believe it should be free, yes. That is the disk drive. Let's get that antenna out of the way that I promised I would have taken out. See, I'm a man of my word. And this is self-explanatory, but if your PS4 is not reading any disk-based games, you most likely need new disk drive. In some cases, it could be a motherboard-related issue, but 90% of the times, it's a faulty laser or a faulty disk drive. And, to get to the disk drive, you have to remove everything that you saw to get to it. Except the fan, you wouldn't have to remove the fan. But everything else would have had to come out. 
which is crazy. But that's the only way to do it. And thank God that I'm here to show you guys how to do this. And that's the mid frame of the system. So we've taken everything out of the system and that concludes our PS4 Slim disassembly and general repair guide video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button if this video helped you out. Also follow me on my vlog channel, Young Tech God, links in the description box. I travel all over the world and I record my adventures. This is Young Tech God from Fast Tech signing out and I'll catch you in the next one.